All right, guys, we're going to continue the series of our friends' rides of Leaf Johnson Ford. I'm Brian Garcia Serrato, and today I want to show you a Bronco. Now, we've all heard the term that everything's bigger in Texas, and this Bronco def definitely takes that to the next level. So let's check it out. All right, guys, as you can see, I wasn't joking. It is huge and it belongs to my friend here, Tyler Mason. How's it going? It's going good, man. So I want you to talk to us about this monster that you've created <laughs> of uh, off-road Bronco. Well, we've got it on 40-inch uh, Cooper STT Pros. Um, we've done you know, a few modifications on it, uh, including our uh, three-inch body lift. Um, we've got four inches of suspension lift. We put all of our steering components. This is one of our, our test rigs. We're gonna be developing some new products here soon, a long travel kit and a few other things that we're gonna be putting on there. But uh, right now it's primarily, uh, yeah, that's what, what you see. We've got some awesome rock slides from Rock Slide Engineering. We've got, uh, you know, right here in Texas, our bumpers were made up in uh, Paris, Texas by uh, Bodyguard Bumpers. And uh, this, this here, I guess a lot of people don't know, but this is actually the 2.3 liter manual transmission. So that little okay. 2.3 liter is what's turning those big 40s. Which is absolutely bonkers. And are you the first Bronco on 40s? If I'm, I, I am, yes. You are, yes. right? Okay, and you've got two of them. Uh, I've got two of them on 40s right now. My wife's uh, white one soon to be on 40s here soon, yes. Okay, so you're definitely changing the game. So let's take a closer look at this real quick. So now, you did mention the rear bumpers and you mentioned the rock sliders. What about these uh, fenders? Those aren't factory, correct? No, these are uh, these fenders and the hood are both from Advantage Fiberglass. So these were actually pre-production last year before SEMA. Um, we got the hood on last October, kind of when we unveiled it with 40s. Uh, we weren't able to fit the uh, fiberglass ones on until here a few months ago. Um, so yeah, those are from advanced fiberglass. Yeah, and they look absolutely crazy and they help you clear and clear yes. those big 40s. Yeah, we had to do a little modifying um, just because when you tuck in, especially when we were out on the sand dunes uh, doing some testing on our steering components, you know, when you get jumping and hopping down through and it tucks that tire way up in there, I tore this all the way up. So we had to do some uh, modifying and some fiberglass work there. But other than that, they, they fit good with the, we're sitting at seven inches of suspension. Well, seven inches of lift between the body lift and the suspension lift. Wow, that's quite a bit. So you mentioned 2.3 liter EcoBoost. Yep. Manual transmission. Yep. Any other engine modifications? Not thoughts? yet, not yet. Nope, we're, we're doing everything stock. A lot of what we're doing is, is testing some of the stock components, finding the weak points on those before we then build and uh, roll out a new product. So, so we're keeping a lot of things stock, just seeing, okay, what's, uh, what does it do with the stock components? Wow, that is absolutely awesome. So you did mention sand dunes. Yes. So this is not a mall crawler, correct? Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's got 5,000 miles and I'd say 4,000 something is, is off-road. So we, you know, yes, I trailer this all over the place primarily because you know, we go out and we break them, so I need a way to get it home. <laughs> yeah, which is actually, it's, it's just so awesome to hear somebody's using these to an extreme level and that they're actually very capable. I know there's a lot of talk of like Jeep owners and like yeah. it's a wannabe Jeep, but you're keeping up with the best of them in this. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, and that's that's my whole goal is just to come up with, okay, what components are the weak points? Because it doesn't matter if it's a Ford, Bronco, or a Jeep, you know, they're all gonna have things, components that they need, and we just need the aftermarket world to keep up with, you know, the Broncos coming out. And so that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to say, all right, how can this uh, be better than a Jeep? And because we already know it's better than a Jeep. <laughs> you know, there's no doubt about that. It's just rock crawling. How can we make it better right. than a Jeep? And so. rock crawling is like, it's just one of those crazy things where you have to do you gotta put the armor, the sliders, you need the big tires so you can air down and grip up. You need that right. kind of thing. So, yeah. and you're definitely uh, you're definitely changing the game with that. Thank you. So any other uh, bits of information you wanna share with our viewers? 
No, we got a secret project, but we'll we won't unveil that till SEMA. So okay, I didn't even know that. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a top secret project. But yeah, yeah SEMA, stay tuned. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so where can people find your beautiful Bronco and I guess some of the components that you're uh, engineering for these vehicles? So our, our website is uh, BronkbusterTX.com, and uh, we're on uh, Instagram and TikTok at T it's at TX Bronkbuster. And then our uh, other social being uh, Facebook is Bronx Buster TX. All right, very awesome. So guys, if you want to see more of this, if you want to see their secret project being unveiled at SEMA this year, then definitely give them a follow. Or if you want to take your Bronco to this extreme level, check out their website because they got all the parts you're going to need if you want to be successful. All right, Tyler, thank you so much. Absolutely, Enjoy man. Enjoy the show. Yes, sir. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video for our car show here at Leaf Johnson Ford. We're still the leader. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and make sure you smash that subscribe button or check out one of these two videos. Until next time, guys, peace out.